Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we implemented Firebase authentication and in this video, we're gonna work on our home section. So now we're gonna design our home section and we're gonna add a custom header for our home screen. So before that, we need to set a background color of white for our home screen. So let's add a class of flex one and background of white. Um, it's not applying let's refresh okay so we can see the background white now we're gonna go to our app layout and we are gonna change the header for this screen so we need to add this screen to this tag let's use tag dot screen and let's add the name property which will be home and we're gonna use some options where we can use the header component so in this function we need to add our custom header so let's move to components and create home header let's create a functional component let's save this and use it here now this is going to replace the header that is provided by the expo router so let's save this and we have a warning no route named home exists um, it's because we use the home with capital h so it needs to be small h okay so we can see the home header at the top now let's go to our header and start designing we also gonna need our responsive library so let's copy it from sign in screen to here now let's give this container a padding top so that the content inside won't conflict with the notch area here we can add a different padding for ios and android devices and we will need to make a check if the device is ios or not using the platform.os property now we can use this ios variable to provide different padding for both the platforms and for the padding we're going to use the top property from safe area insets so let's get the top property from a hook called use safe area insets and for ios we'll use the top property but for android we need to increase it by 10 pixels now let's save this and our content is saved from the notch area so inside this component we're gonna add a text component and our user profile so let's make it flex row and justify between let's also add a little horizontal padding so let's add px of 5 and let's add a background of indigo 400 padding bottom of 6 and we need to make the bottom rounded so let's use rounded bottom of 3xl and let's save it now we can see our header but let's add a shadow so let's use shadow class okay it looks good now inside this header component we're gonna add a text view so let's add a wrapper around it and let's add our text component that will say chats because we're gonna show a list of all the chats here now let's make it responsive using the font size of hp3 and let's also add the class names to make it bold uh, let's use font medium and text should be white okay so it looks good now after this view we're gonna add the profile image so let's add a view now we can use the image component from react native but it does not use cache so we're gonna need something that uses cache so our images won't have to load again and again so what we're gonna use is expo image so this will only load the image once and then it will show the loaded image so that is very helpful now let's install this using this command let's open the terminal and paste the command here okay so it's installing uh, now we need to import it so let's copy this and let's remove this and paste it here it uses a blur hash that is also a blurred image but as a placeholder so this will be shown until the real image loads so we can use this as well so let's copy this image code and paste it here let's indent it okay now let's give this a style with a height of hp 4.3 let's use aspect ratio of 1 border radius of 100 to make it rounded okay so 
now we can remove these two properties we don't need it actually we do need the transition so let's keep it and transition is the time until the placeholder image shows so let's make it one uh, 500 and for the blur hash we are gonna store it somewhere so let's create a folder utils and inside this let's create a file common.js and here we will keep our blur hash so let's copy this line and paste it here okay so let's do that and export it from here okay now we can use the blur hash and we can save it so now we can see our profile image and this blur hash will show for 500 milliseconds and then we'll show the real image now for the image we're going to use the currently logged in user image and that we can get from the user property as profile url now we need to use the user from our use auth hook because we already stored it into our context so let's use use auth and let's save it okay so we can see the profile image of the currently logged in user so if i log out and log in with a different account it will show the profile image accordingly so let's log in with john snow's account let's hit sign in it's going to load the image for the first time but after that it won't have to load the image so now we're gonna add a context menu on top of this image and for that we're going to use a component react native pop-up menu and here is how it looks uh, it doesn't look good but we can work on the design so let's copy this line and install this component into our app let's paste it here and it's done now let's see how we can use this so let's go to the documentation and we're gonna use this menu provider so let's copy this and we're gonna wrap our entire app with this so let's go to root layout and copy this here we are doing this because uh, the menu shows on top of all the components so we need to wrap this around our app let's indent it and save it now let's see the menu component okay so we have wrapped around the app now there are a lot of components so menu trigger and options let's just copy all of them and because we're going to use it in our home header let's paste them here and let's indent them we need to indent it like this and uh, we need to import all the components as well so let's copy this statement and paste it here now let's save this and see how it looks like okay so we got an option select action on top of the profile picture let's select it okay so we got it working but we want to make our profile image as a trigger for this menu so for now let's just comment these menu options and let's add a closing tag for this menu trigger let's move this text and inside this we will move our profile image like this indent this okay so let's save this now we won't see the text but let's uncomment this to see if it's working and if i click on this okay so our profile image is the trigger for this menu now so if you want to add styles to this menu trigger you can do that as well you just need a property custom styles and inside this we can add another property uh, i believe it's called trigger wrapper and this is an object for all the styles for this wrapper so let's add a comment trigger wrapper style i'm going to leave it as it is but if you want to style it differently you can do that as well now inside the components folder we're gonna add another component for custom menu items so we're going to remove the menu options and we will be creating our own so let's create a new file custom menu items and inside this we're gonna export a component so let's call it menu item and this is going to receive the text property and action and the value for this action and an icon for this menu item 
so now we're gonna return the menu option component so it's not going to auto import so let's go to our header and this is a component so let's copy the import statement let's copy this entire code and paste it here now, now let's move all of this we only did the menu option let's move these as well and let's use the menu option here now we're gonna use our responsive library here so let's move to our parent component and copy this responsive library here okay so now when user presses on this menu option we need to add a property on select and here we can call the action and the value passed to this component like this okay so inside this we will add a view and that will be the view for our menu item so let's give it a padding horizontal of 4 and padding vertical of 1 let's make it flex row because we're going to add the text and the icon side by side justify between and item center now here we're gonna use the text and the icon but let's use the text component for both of them just for testing to see if everything works let's save this okay so now we can use this so let's go to our parent component and we need to remove these menu options so that we can use our custom menu item now let's import it from custom menu items and let's close it and save it and see uh, how it looks so if i click on this we get this error okay so we need to import the view let's also import the text component from react native as well now let's save this and test this again okay so we can see our custom menu item now here we're going to have two menu items one for the profile and other for the logout button so let's go to home header and add these icons and the text properties so for the first one we're going to have a text property as profile and we're going to have an action which will be a function handle profile and for the value uh, let's just use null for now and for the icon we're going to use the user icon from feather icons we already used this icon into our sign up screen so let's use feather icons the name will be user and for the size let's use hp 2.5 and let's add the neutral color for this icon and let's close it and save it okay so this function doesn't exist so let's create this function handle profile let's leave this empty for now and let's save it so the error is gone now if we move to menu item we can use this text and the icon property so let's remove this actually we're gonna use the text first so let's remove this and add a text property and let's add our responsive font size of hp 1.7 and let's add a class name to make it bold let's use the class font semi bold and for the text color let's use neutral 600 and inside this we can use our text property and after this we can use our icon so let's save this and uh, now if we click on this we can see our text property and the icon coming from our home header so now we can copy this for our sign out menu item as well and let's change the text to sign out and let's change this function to handle logout and let's create this function we need to make this async because we're going to call an async function inside this and let's await for the logout function and we can use this logout function from our use auth hook it needs to be log out so let's get this function from our use auth hook and let's save this this is going to log us out from the application now we will need a different icon for this sign out button we can't use the user icon let's go to expo vector icons and find the logout icon okay we can use this logout icon from and design so let's import the and design icons and we will change the name to logout 
okay so let's save this and if i click on the menu now we will see two items but now uh, we will need a divider between them so let's create another function let's call it divider and this is going to return a view which will be a very thin line between these two items so let's return a view and give this a class name of padding let's use padding of one pixel and you can use the custom paddings like this which will be full and background of neutral 200 and let's save this now we can use this divider between these two items and let's save this and now we can see the divider between these two items now we're going to work on the design of these menu options so let's add a property custom styles in menu options and inside this we can add another property option container and here we can add all the styles so let's add border radius of 10 border curve as continuous and to place it anywhere around the component we can add margin top margin left so you can use these values according to wherever you want to place it so i'm going to use margin top as 40 and margin left as minus 30 and let's use the background as white and let's save this okay it looks good and the placement is right so this way you can add styles to your menu options so now we're going to reduce the shadow under this menu option so let's use the shadow opacity as 0 0.2 and let's add shadow offset and we will use height and width as 0 now i also want to make it a bit smaller so for that we can use the width property so let's use width as 160 and save it okay it looks good now and we have reduced the shadow as well now let's see if the sign out works okay it's working and that's because we implemented a logout function inside this that's coming from our context so let's sign it with my other account nomi at gmail.com let's use my password and sign in okay everything's working um we need to change the p in the profile that needs to be capital so let's change this to capital p and let's save it so this way you can add these pop-up menus inside your app and you can design and place them wherever you want in your application so this is it for this video and in the next video we're going to work on our chat list and we'll fetch the users and design them so see you in the next video